Yeah, and yeah. It was like Jesse. I think Jesse has a kid. Yeah, I, that was during my dark time where I snap mm. was snapping. Um, so you so want to hear the, the story? What's the story? Yeah, How does this start? Let's hear the story. All How right. does this start? All right, let's drink the Red Bulls and let's get <laughs> going. A oh, big shout out to Jesse, man. He's coming in here with the heat. With the tea. I love it. Okay, let's do it. I mean, it's just like therapy. I like it. Um, so yeah, I made a video about it, which is kind of cringe that I did it. It's like finding your kid or something. Yeah, which is so cringy. I can't but believe it was, I did but that. But it was views, bro. Uh, the views been ex crazy, and, and uh, mm. but I admit that my main thought behind it was maybe I'll get to find out. Maybe if I stir this up, I'll get the you know some some answers from all these questions. So um, so when I was nineteen. You guys all know this story. Barely. Okay. Only I, from when you posted about it. Okay, yeah. So yeah. Then that's basically it, but I'll, I'll give you the, the short version. Uh, when I was 19, I was dating a girl and, you know, she told me she couldn't get pregnant. I'm 19, so I'm doing all the things that would get someone pregnant. Going, <laughs> yeah, you can't get pregnant. That's the dream uh, <laughs> The dream talk. I can't get pregnant. Right. And I, and I just believe that. And um, I'm 19, and then I joined the military, and I go into boot camp. And when I'm in boot camp, I, I graduate boot camp. But like when you're like, I didn't think I'd keep this relationship with her. I'm 19. I'm, like, I'm, I'm in the military now. I'm just going to move on. And uh, when you're in boot camp, you're kind of brainwashed and, and lonely. So she's writing me letters. And I'm like, you know, oh, I'm in love with this girl. She's writing me letters. And she's like, I want to come to your graduation with your parents. I'm like, of course, yeah, come to my graduation. <laughs> and then when she shows up to my graduation, she's like, I'm pregnant with your kid. I was like, whoa, holy shit. I'm 19. Thought you couldn't get pregnant. Right. I'm like, but I'm I'm fresh out of boot camp. So my brain is like brainwashed. And and my thoughts are just like, okay, great. I have a great job now. We'll have a family. We'll get married. We'll raise this kid. I have great benefits. I'm in the military. Move in with my parents as I go into the police academy and because I'm I'm gonna be a cop in the Air Force. And you live with my parents until I'm done in the police academy and I go to my first base, we get married and we raise this child. That was what my thought process was. The right thing to do. Right, it sounds legit. And then while I'm in the police academy, you know, I was able to call her here and there. And she was like, yo, I got in this fight with this girl, da 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 And I'm just like, well, why'd you get in a fight? She's like, she was going to tell you that I cheated on you and that the kid's not yours, da -da, like all this drama. I'm like, whoa. I'm like, so, you know, I'm starting to think that. And um, and as she's getting close closer to having the baby, she decides to give the baby up for adoption. She's gonna have the baby adopted because we're young, mm -hmm. and I'm like, yeah, I guess that's the best thing we, you should do. Like, she's like, I, um, but she still wants to be with me, but she's putting the baby up for adoption. My dad's like, yo, you should probably do that. You're 19, and like, he's like, you got your whole life ahead of you. And I'm just like, I don't know. Like, I'm brainwashed. I'm just straight out boot camp. But this is what she wanted to do, right? So yeah. I'm just like, okay, whatever you want to do, I support that. And um, and th the people that adopted the child. They couldn't have kids and they're like from New York City and like my family helped vet them, you know, and like find out like what, what the whole situation is. And I'm and I can't even be there for the pregnancy because I'm still in the police academy. She has the baby, it's adopted. The family said they'd have an open adoption that did keep me, you know, informed about, you know, the little girl that was born. And as as long story short, like me and the girl you know, I didn't want to be with her because I, I still didn't know like if that was really my child or not, but I'm on the birth certificate. Like I had to sign something. And and I'm I'm still in communication with the adopted parents and shit. They're sending me photos and everything. And I'm like, great. And then by like the sixth year, they just went ghost. And I'm getting reports that she told another guy that he's the father mm. the whole time. I'm like, whoa. So I get a hold of that guy. I'm like, and I know him. I'm like, yo. He's like, yeah, yeah. She, I, he's like, I thought it was my child. She told me it was mine, oh, and I showed no. up to the to the hospital. I'm like, whoa. And I was in boot camp or uh, police academy. Jeez. And I'm just like, whoa. And I think what happened was like the um, adopted family was really nervous that if I'm not actually the dad, that I don't have the ability to put the baby up for adoption. That the real dad would show up. You know, and but he was like, I would never do that to this girl. That's all she knows. It was a little girl. This is all she knows. Da 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 da. And um, and I can't believe I'm saying this story again. I deleted it, but here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it's an amazing story. Uh, I mean, 
I, I just feel for the the actual little girl right now, but hopefully, you know, she doesn't see this. Um, <laughs> um, cause she'd probably be 18 now. Dang. Um, yeah. But, uh, so yeah. I think that the adoptive parents were worried that like, you know, the, the whatever, and that's six years. So 15 years go by, I kind of just blacked my mind of it. Like, I don't want to think about it. Right. But it was always weighing on me. Like, yo, I might have a daughter out there. This is uh crazy. That would be a wild thought. And I was like, well, this could still, like, I don't fully know. I need to know. And that's when I made the video. I'm like, maybe they'll contact me and let me do a DNA test or something. Like, I, cause at least I could like meet her, yeah. you know, if she's actually my daughter, like, um, but like as further investigation after that video comes out, the, the girl that I got pregnant and the other guy that was potentially the dead, we all came together like, let's talk about this. <laughs> Seriously, wow. I was like, show me photos, you know, of you as a kid, because we had pictures of the girl as a kid, and uh, he looks identical to her. Mm. Like, and he had another kid, and her da his daughter looks exactly like her. Mm. We're like, pretty much ruled out that like you, I'm probably not the dad, which I was a little disappointed of for a moment, but then well, I'm just especially like, especially when you're let on for so long, yeah, dude. yeah, that was yeah. that was stressful. That was I was years so, of thinking you had a yeah. daughter, and um. I mean, but I still don't fully know. Yeah. But, uh, and I'm always like worried that one day, like I'm going to knock at the door. It's going to be her and I'm just going to faint. No. <laughs> so faint. I'm like. Bro, that would be wild. But that'd that's wild. what it is. Everyone that, and I made a video about it like an idiot. I mean, I don't, I don't think the video is that, uh, I think it was a good reach. It was, I mean, you yeah. Had it, such a reach on the it internet. Gave, it gave me it more closure because yeah. I got, you know, close to every part, all the parties. Um, but then I was just getting so many negative shit from people like, you abandoned your daughter. Mm. Like, you don't even really know what happened. Right. <laughs> you don't know. Dude, the internet, bro. But yo, that was I, it. Uh, dude, that, what a, what a, are you, are you ever going to write a book? I don't know, maybe. You, sound, you got a great book. I got book. shit. You got a great book. <laughs> I got like, stuff. for real, you'd inspire a lot of people. Uh, you're writing it right now. Like, right, right, right. This is the beginning of your book. I mean, right? what do you got at the end of your life is stories. I'm just accumulating them. Some of them are a little crazy.